with uh, Glaber? Uh, Glaber's got a core issue, so I went to the hospital for some tests, and that's it. We'll... Do you know when it happened? Uh, not sure. We'll just leave it at that for now, and we'll, we'll find out more soon enough. And Gio, how's he doing? <laughs> He's sore. You know, we x-rayed it just to be safe, um, negative, uh, just fouled the ball above his knee on the right side and then and then on the shin on the left side so stiffened up on him pretty good so he's in there icing now and um we'll see how he is why was jay so successful early on in the game tonight you know what i thought he mixed really well um i thought he had a really good two seamer tonight um, you know, to go with his four seamer, but I thought the mix of the of the two seamer, I thought he threw some good change ups in there. You know, worked worked both sides of the plate. Um, I thought his conviction was good, and um, I thought he was really on top of it, really pitch efficient, which was good to see. Obviously, they clipped him with the back to back homers, but uh, he was on the attack. Uh, I thought all night and, and dictating counts for the most part, which was really good to see. Third inning, five to nine hitters with two outs. Put together all those hits and all those runs. Is that like a microcosm of what this team has been all season? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we've had a number of games where we've broken out, um, you know, where it hasn't always been the home run, where guys up and down the order um, have really put together some quality at bats and – You know, I think that goes back to the approach. You know, I think they take so much pride in wearing you down that, you know, eventually uh, when a guy falters a little bit, they're ready to attack and pounce. And we've seen where they've had those big, big innings like that a lot. And it always hasn't been surrounded necessarily by the long ball. Kenny. And what is your level of concern with uh, Kleber? Um... I'm not sure. I mean, he's he's there now. Get some tests. So we'll have an idea. Hopefully, uh, in a little bit. And how seriously would you consider taking out Geo, either of the times? You know, you, um, two trainers visit there, obviously. Well, when he when he went down, I saw him hopping pretty good the first time. You know, I when I went out there, you know, that was on my mind that 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 could be possible. Um, you know, and then then I saw him start to walk it off a little bit. Um, the second one, he goes down. You're just like, man. Um, so, and I checked him after the inning when he ran down the line. Um, but then as the inning wore on or the uh, end of the next inning, it seemed like he sit, it was stiffening up on him. So we, at that point, it was time to get him out. Anyone else? Dave. Aaron, do you worry with as many injuries do you guys have that the guys will try harder to play through things? And things will pop up, or is that? I mean, do you have to talk to guys about that, or, or don't push it, or I mean, I know you're getting down to, to right. the lower numbers now, but no, I mean, look, I mean, in major league athlete, you're always going to have to play through some things, so you try and have the dialogue as best you can, um, try and get out ahead of things as best you can. You know, that's sometimes what an off day for a guy here and there when. Um, you know when they are healthy trying to be proactive with that so i mean we're talking about major league athletes so you're going to grind through some things but hopefully as best we can uh we're on top of all this stuff with them and 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 keeping the communication going Aaron, just on glaber how did it all come about and 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 how do you comprehend that this happens just about every day it seems like well just the last couple we've we've been (laughs) <laughs> um, it, it, it's been a crazy year in that way, you know, with with the amount of things that have happened to guys um, physically. Um, but it's also been something that's been a, a real rallying cry for us. And I, I, I think it's, you know, not just brought a level of physical toughness to the room, but it's forced guys to to be mentally tough as well and and i think it's part of the hunger that exists with those guys because you know they have the mindset and nothing's going to get in our way and nothing's going to stop us and you know they all kind of pull for each other and and know that the next guy uh, is expected to do the job you you kind of just answered this but uh, do you worry at all about the injuries getting in the way of what you're trying to do you talk about having like a special year you keep 
you keep winning these games, but in right. terms of October, of the postseason, you know, the, yeah, I mean, you need to get healthy. You can't lose everyone, but we also feel like, you know, we're, it's part of the game. I mean, you can't, you know, you can't plan for every injury or everything that, that comes up. You, you, you the best you can um, try to deal with it. In a lot of cases, you know, we feel like we're in pretty good position with a number of guys that are eventually going to come back, but you, can't necessarily predict the future as far as this guy might go down. You try and hopefully have as many guys available, pop, ready to go, and 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 do do our best to to preserve them and and uh, and keep them healthy. And you you've had a few of these core injuries. Does that make you look at anything that you guys are doing in terms of preparation? Well, I would say we always look at things we're doing. I mean. Maybe even more so, obviously, this year, just because we've had so many things come up. So we're constantly trying to, you know, get better and get smarter and stay on top of things as best we can and evaluate how we do everything. And, and that's at every level of our organization, not just, you know, whether it's medical, strength and conditioning, our coaching, everything we do. We're, we're as an organization, we try to be on top of everything and evaluating everything. Um, but the core stuff, every every case a little bit different. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't read too much into that. 